The eye is a globe filled with a gelatinous material called vitreous. And as we age, the vitreous ages along with us. It liquefies in some spots and thickens and sticks together in other spots. So these collagen molecules and hyaluronidase molecules, these fibrils stick together and clump together. So some areas of the vitreous become more thin and liquefied, and other areas become more opacified. And as the vitreous opacifies and ages, sometimes it pulls free and separates from the back of the eye wall. This separation from the back of the eye wall we call the posterior vitreous detachment, or a PVD. It usually causes new symptoms, a sudden onset of floaters, sometimes flickers or flashes of light, but it, in and of itself a PVD is not a dangerous thing if it doesn't tear the retina. The problem is the patient can't always tell whether the retina has been torn or not, because the same symptoms, flashes of light, flickers, arcs and sparks of light, and a sudden onset of floaters or opacities in the vision can also indicate a tear or detachment of the retina. I think the important thing for the patient to recognize is a sudden change. Moderate floaters that have been there for years are usually not disturbing to the patient, don't affect their function, and are not dangerous. But a sudden change in symptoms, new onset of floaters, a sudden burst of floaters or opacities in the vision, especially if it's combined with flickers or flashes of light, that needs to be seen right away. Now it could just be a posterior vitreous detachment, and that in and of itself, a PVD, is disturbing and frustrating for the patient, but almost always over the passage of time, a couple of things happen. The opacities tend to liquefy and soften in the visual axis and aren't as prominent, and the brain is able to adjust and ignore the floaters over time. Vitreous detachment happens more commonly in patients who are uh, myopic, longer eye, who have had infection or inflammation in the eye. It also happens more commonly later in life. Sometimes it can occur after cataract surgery or in the same patient population that recently has had or is about to have cataract surgery. So it's something to watch for in that age population. Most of the time, even more significant floaters are not addressed surgically in a younger patient population. In patients who have these kind of floaters, we oftentimes will give them the opportunity of having a vitrectomy. We use the most up-to-date, best surgical technology available. 25 plus gauge, tiny instrumentation, about a half a millimeter in size, no sutures, the surgery takes 15 to 20 minutes to accomplish, and the patient goes home outpatient the same day. So because the surgical risks are substantially less than they ever were, in patients where the floaters are very significant, bothersome, affecting their ability to function, we can now treat it surgically with a very low risk. Remember, if there is any change in symptoms, increased floaters and opacities, or flickers or flashes of light, you need to return right away for another important examination.